The animation begins by showing a woman bringing her baby to an orphanage. Afterward, she knocked on the orphanage door and soon the head of the orphanage opened the door. When the door opened, a baby was left in a cardboard box. Several years pass and the child has grown into a teenager named Louis. In a room, he was with his best friend, Michael Yagubian. At that place, Louis was making an automatic jam-making machine. Louis hopes the machine he made can make people who will adopt him later admire him. After finishing making the machine, Louis met a husband and wife who wanted to adopt him, and he was very happy to show his future parents his jam machine. But in the middle of the experiment, the machine created a mess that made the whole room and adoptive parents dirty because of the jam splashes. As a result of this incident, Louis failed to be adopted, which made him very sad. Louis, who was sad, decided to go to the orphanage's roof. Not long after, the head of the orphanage named Mildred came to see him. She tried to comfort Louis, saying that even though he failed to be adopted this time, many people still loved him, including his biological mother. Mildred says that even though her mother left Louis at the orphanage, she believes her decision was the best to protect him. Hearing that made Louis want to find his real mother, so he tried to make a machine that could take him to the past to see his mother's face. After his time machine was finished, Louis went to a science fair held at his school. At his school, there was a famous scientist who became a jury named Dr. Crunkle Horn. Arriving at the exhibition, Lewis met a boy named Wilbur Robinson. Wilbur, who saw Lewis carrying a machine, came to him and asked him to talk. He told Lewis he was from the future and had come to the past to catch a criminal who had stolen the time machine. However, Lewis did not believe Wilbur's words and he returned to prepare the engine. On the other hand, there is a mysterious man who is observing Lewis. It turned out that the man was a criminal that Wilbur was looking for named Bowler Hat Guy. After paying enough attention to Lewis, Bowler ordered his robot named Doris to go to Lewis's place. The robot secretly sneaks into Lewis's machine. Then Lewis began to introduce his machine to the judges. When he was trying to operate it suddenly, the machine went out of control and disrupted the exhibition until finally the exhibition was stopped. Lewis, who felt very guilty and also annoyed, left the exhibition hall and left his machine there. After Lewis left, Bowler immediately stole his machine. Arriving at the orphanage, Lewis went straight to the roof. There, he looked so sad and upset that he tore up his research book. Soon after, Wilbur came and stopped him, who was tearing up his book. Wilbur told him that everything that had happened to him in the showroom was Bowler's doing. However, Lewis doesn't believe it and asks for proof if Wilbur really came from the future. At first, Wilbur looked doubtful, but in the end, he took Lewis into his time machine and then took Lewis away to the future. Arriving in the future, Lewis finally believes Wilbur. The city of the future looks very clean, sophisticated, and modern. Then on the plane, Lewis asks Wilbur to take him to the past because he wants to see his mother. Unfortunately, Wilbur refused his request. Shortly after, Lewis tried to take over the plane. Then they fight in the plane until it goes out of control and finally breaks down as it crashes. Luckily, they manage to survive. After that, Wilbur asked Lewis to repair his plane. Then Lewis said he wanted to help with one condition. If the plane was repaired, Wilbur had to promise to take him to the past to see his real mother. Even though he was forced to, Wilbur finally agreed to Lewis' terms and took Lewis to his house. The scene then moves to see Bowler and Doris in a room. Bowler intended to introduce Lewis's machine to someone who was a leader in the company, but he failed because he needed to learn how to start Lewis's machine. Sadly, he was kicked out of the company. After that, he decided to go find Lewis. On the other hand, Wilbur, who didn't want his family to know that Lewis was from the past, asked Lewis to stay in the garage while he went into the house to get a time machine. While Wilbur was away, Lewis accidentally got into a pipe and ended up in Wilbur's yard. There he tried to find a way back to the garage. Soon after, Lewis met a grandpa and asked him for directions to the garage. However, he made Lewis even more lost. After that, they circled the house until they really got lost and instead met another Wilbur family. Not long after, Lewis finally met Wilbur. There, he was scolding Lewis for leaving the garage and he was also surprised when he found out that Lewis had met his family. The scene then shifts to see Bowler arriving at the orphanage. He meets Goob, who looks lethargic because his team lost a baseball game. Bowler, who saw Goob was sad, tried to cheer him up by talking to him. From his conversation with Goob, Bowler knows Lewis is currently in the future. Soon after, he rushed to his plane to catch up with Lewis. Not long after, he arrived at the Robinsons' house. Meanwhile, Wilbur and Lewis are busy repairing the time machine and do not know that Bowler is coming to their place. Outside Robinson's house, Doris asked Bowler to wait outside while he went to break into the house. However, Bowler forces Doris to get him to come in. Doris, who had no other choice, was forced to allow him to come by giving him a mini-robot version of himself that could be controlled remotely. While at Robinson's house, Wilbur's mother, Franny, invited Lewis to dinner. In the dining room, there was a little commotion between Laszlo and her sister. 
They both fuss while throwing food, and the winner is Franny. Not long after that, a robot named Carl came. When he wants to use the jam-making machine, the machine gets stuck. Wilbur, who saw that, asked Lewis to fix the jam machine. On the other hand, Bowler, who was controlling a frog, made it into the Robinson family's dining room. He ordered the frog to catch Lewis, but the frog refused because there were a lot of people gathered. Meanwhile, Lewis manages to fix the jam machine, but it still has a problem when he tries it. It was spitting out jam at everyone. However, even when he failed to fix it, the Robinson family encouraged Lewis not to give up. That made him very happy. When they continued to eat together, a dinosaur named Tyrex suddenly tried to catch Lewis. It turned out that the Tyrex was controlled by Bowler using a mini-robot version of Doris. Then the whole Robinson family tries to save him from that Tyrex. They work together and manage to defeat the Tyrex. After the incident, Franny wanted to adopt Lewis. Her decision made the other members of the Robinson family feel happy. But there, Wilbur finally told the truth if Lewis came from the past. Franny, who knew about this, cancelled her intention to adopt Lewis and immediately asked Wilbur to return to the past. Lewis, who heard that, was very disappointed and left the place while Wilbur was being punished by his mother. Shortly after, Lewis met with Bowler. Then he took advantage of the situation to influence Lewis, saying he would fulfill Lewis's wish to see his biological mother. To do that, Lewis only needs to fix his scanner machine then Bowler will take him to the past to meet his mother. Lewis, who was already disappointed with Wilbur, immediately followed Bowler even though Wilbur had tried to hold him back. Arriving at Bowler's place, he immediately asked Lewis to fix his scanner machine. After the machine was repaired, Doris tied Lewis up. Afterward, Bowler tells Lewis is the father of Wilbur in the future. Besides that, he told Lewis his true identity. It turns out that Bowler is Goob, Lewis's roommate at the orphanage. Then Bowler started saying he became a criminal because Lewis invented machines every night. Bowler, who is so annoyed by it, can't sleep, causing his baseball team to lose because Goob fell asleep while the game was in progress. Then he blamed Lewis for it. In the end, he gave up his dream of becoming a baseball athlete. Because of that, Bowler and Doris intend to erase Lewis's past and destroy his future. At the same time, Wilbur and Carl come to save Lewis. Soon after, Lewis quickly took the machine and left with Wilbur and Carl. When the three of them returned to the future, Doris caught up with them. After that, he attacks Carl and takes Lewis's time machine away. Soon after, Wilbur asked Lewis to fix his time machine as soon as possible because it turned out that Doris was only using Bowler to gain control of the city. When the two of them were talking, a change in the future suddenly made Wilbur disappear. Soon after, Lewis arrived at the Robinson family house. There, he saw footage of his scanner where the mini-robot version of Doris successfully controlled the entire city. Not long after, the Robinson family, who had been controlled by Doris, came to attack him. After seeing this, Lewis tried to quickly repair Wilbur's time machine, and he managed to escape from them. On the way back in time, Doris tries to hold Lewis back by continuing to chase him. Luckily he managed to escape. Arriving in the past, Lewis goes to a company and tries to stop Bowler from signing a partnership with the company, and says that Doris just wants to take advantage of him. Hearing this, Doris wanted to attack him again. Luckily, Lewis beats Doris by saying he will not make Doris in the future, and Doris immediately disappears. Shortly after, Lewis and Bowler go to the future using Wilbur's time machine. There Lewis showed him a future shattered by Bowler when he was teaming up with Doris. Lewis then said that Doris was using him instead of being a real friend. Seeing this, Bowler finally came to his senses, and soon the situation in the future returned to normal, and Wilbur also returned. When he arrived at Robinson's residence, Lewis told Wilbur to tell the Robinson family to adopt Bowler because Bowler was his roommate at an orphanage called Goob. When Lewis was talking with Wilbur, Bowler left them somewhere. Soon after, the entire Robinson family came to see how Lewis was doing. Shortly afterward, Lewis from the future also appeared, and they met. It turns out that Lewis will be named Cornelies in the future. Then, he invites Lewis into his research room to see his machine collection. Seeing this made him feel very happy, and after he was satisfied looking around, he said goodbye to the Robinson family to go to his time with Wilbur using a time machine plane. On his way, it turns out that Wilbur took Lewis to the past to see his birth mother. When Lewis approached his biological mother, who was placing him in an orphanage, he decided not to look at her face because he already had a new family in the future. Then Lewis went back to his time. Arriving at the orphanage, Wilbur said goodbye to Lewis and then returned to the future. The next day Lewis was happy to do a lot of things, starting from helping Goob, who fell asleep during his baseball game, and Lewis also showed his scanner machine at the science exhibition. At that time, he managed to amaze all the judges. Soon after, a married couple who saw this and became judges decided to adopt Lewis. At the exhibition, Lewis also met his future wife, Franny. 
Everything ends happily. Lewis now lives in his new home with his adoptive parents, while Goob was also adopted by another husband and wife and won a baseball game. With excitement, Lewis began to design the machine he would build in the future, and the film ended. At the end of the film, there is a hidden message that this animation wants to convey. Around here, we don't look backward for very long. We keep moving forward, opening up new doors and doing new things because we're curious, and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths.